Hello, and welcome back to Baby We Eat. Today, we are making Southern Baked Mac and Cheese. For our ingredients, we have macaroni, butter, flour, evaporated milk, half and half, onion powder, garlic powder, Creole seasoning, cayenne pepper, mozzarella cheese, mild cheddar cheese, and Kobe Jack cheese. And salt and pepper to taste. Here I'm showing you my cheese grater. You could get this off of Amazon. And I'm gonna grate my cheese. Here my macaroni is done. I have drained it from its water. I'm gonna put it in a dish. And then I'm going to add some butter and I'm going to set it aside. I added the butter so that my macaroni will not stick together. In a skillet, you want to add your butter. And you want to melt your butter and you want to whisk in your flour. You want to continue whisking until flour is fully mixed with your butter. Then you want to cook it for about a minute to get rid of the flour taste. You want to start slowly adding in your evaporated milk a little bit at a time, followed by your half and half. You do not want the mixture to form any lumps. You want to simmer for about three to five minutes until your mixture thickens slightly. Here I am mixing my flour and milk mixture has begun to start thickening. Here I'm adding in my garlic powder, two teaspoons. I'm adding in a little bit of cayenne pepper, a little bit of onion powder, and a little bit of paprika. And I added in a little bit of Creole seasoning. And then I added some salt. And as I was adding my seasonings, I was tasting. You do not want to over salt your mixture. And here I added my pepper and I'm mixing that in. Now I'm beginning to add my cheese a little bit, a little bit at a time. You, do, you want to bring to a simmer and let it simmer gently for about two minutes. You stir in the cheese and reserve some of the cheese for toppings later. You want to add and continue to stir until everything is melted evenly and combined. And you want to make sure that it's smooth. You want to add salt and pepper to taste. Here you can see that my mixture is, is soft and it's thick how I want it. I don't want it too runny and I don't want it too thick. So now I'm adding my cheese to my cooked macaroni and I'm gonna mix in my cheese sauce evenly. I'm gonna to continue to add my cheese sauce to my liking. Okay, I'm done adding my cheese sauce. I added some shredded cheese throughout my macaroni and cheese. That's how I like mine. If you don't, if you don't like it for yours, you don't have to add it. I'm just showing you how I make my macaroni and cheese. Now 
Now I'm smoothing out the top and I'm gonna add my shredded cheese, the rest of my shredded cheese to the top. I added a little paprika. I'm continuing to add my shredded cheese. Now I'm gonna add a little paprika to the top for color. I'm gonna pop it in the oven at 375 and I'm gonna bake for about 20 minutes or until it is golden and bubbly. Here my macaroni and cheese is out. It's gold and it is bubbly. I'm gonna show you how the macaroni and cheese turned out. Nice, creamy, and cheesy, how I like it. And it was so good. We have made Southern Baked Mac and Cheese. I wanna thank you for watching Baby We Eats. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.